so we're back and now we're going to start working to build the skeleton of our promo. Had a couple of options here. We could go through every one of these clips and just kind of organize stuff a little bit. The spot that we're going to make is going to be a combo spot featuring three shows. The Decider, Shocker, and Rage. This is going to be for a sort of generic action you know, macho guys network. All of this would normally be in a specific episode or multiple episodes and and the way we keyword tag episodes is a little bit different than how we would do raw shoot footage. So just kind of pretend that all of these are one clip and they're all from a single episode. Uh, but we do kind of want to go through and let's let's just do the keyword tagging process. So these are all the decider. <laughs> We tend to stay out of the primary storyline when we cut spots because we're always shifting things around and trying things and whatnot. So what I'd like to use it as is a glorified timeline. So so now this gives us our duration. We're here at one hour, exactly 30 seconds. This makes life a little easier. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go in and put your scratch track because that's going to kind of give you a backbone for this particular kind of spot. Now I've kind of got an idea of how much time I have to, vo to devote to each show. Um, M -M Starting at 8, it's the series premiere of The Decider. So let's go to our Decider. Let's try some music. Let's just take all of these tracks, bring them in here. What I just did there was I selected all of these and then I reduced the volume to minus 20. Okay, so at this point we've now cut our spot and in some instances we've made some uh, color corrections. We haven't gone to graphics, but we do have a, a promo that we're pretty pretty happy with and the clients approved us to go to get audio, voiceover, and finish out with color correcting graphics for their final approval. I'll just quickly walk you guys through. We do template graphics until we get the real graphics in. Uh, these shots are uncolor corrected. I tried to give each one of these guys a look so that you could really see the difference between shows. This one has a different look, so I really do want to apply this just for now. We have some effects that are going to go into this outdoor shot. Uh, obviously, this needs a little tweaking, <laughs> but we'll do that later. And we have scratch track and temp graphics. But the meat of our spot is great, and we're, we're really happy with the pacing and the timing. So we've gone ahead and recorded voiceover with the incredible Jim Pratt, and here's what we've got. The decider. So we're really excited to drop this in. Because it's audio, it shows up in the music folder, which you could also call this audio, now thinking about it. 
we've already gone through two versions so now what I want to do to make a new version and I always keep a backup of my V2 is I need to make a unmixed with VO version so let's copy this go back over to our comps quickly rename this to V3 and then we can say unmixed VO so let's open this guy up here we go going to go back into our Jim Pratt VO for MFI <laughs> Okay, so now we've done voiceover, it's inserted, and we're gonna go to finish up our graphics to replace these black and white guys. All right, so now we've made our graphics and we'd like to get ready to dump them in our spot. We're gonna drop the rest of these graphics in and in the next tutorial, we're gonna talk about exporting for clients, sending to mix, and making sure that the project shares over the network to another system. See you soon.